Destination D. Yes. With you. And we saw you run into the room when the Tomorrowland presentation came on. To yes. See the clip. You're about to see the movie. How yeah. excited are you? Oh, unbelievable. How many times have you seen the, the little short they're running in Tomorrowland? And 10 or 15 times. Yeah, me too. <laughs> and the post show and all that, so it's wonderful. And, um, you know, I think it's... I grew up and worked here during the great time when Walt Disney brought all those World's Fair shows back. And I remember throwing my hot dog away to get in to see Carousel of Progress. So now we're going to see kind of the next step of all that. So we erased the years in between and went right from what Walt did then to whatever they've conjured up now. So I'm really excited to see, I think, what's going to be the first inspirational or positive tomorrow that's been on the screen in a long, long time. So well, we're I'm tired of dystopia. For, we're excited <laughs> for you to see the movie. Yeah, I am so too. Enjoy. Okay. Good, good All right. Okay. One question for you too. So if you were to take a dystopia, like we live, yeah. I guess, in a dystopia, some people say, yeah, well, yeah, there are going to be better parts of places. Yeah, right. What would you do to improve it? What would be your <laughs> ideal Tomorrowland? I think it's a mindset thing. I mean, you know, it's People are so busy now to not slow down and, and enjoy the things that I think you had to do when you didn't have all the technical wonders. And I'm as guilty. I mean, look at me. You're tweeting, and we see you're tweeting. Do you have a tweeter? A tweeter? A, a Twitter? I, I, Tony Baxter? I would. Be. There's a fake one. I've been There's told. There's a fake yeah. one. Okay. But, uh, yeah, no, I mean, all of that stuff, you only have 24 hours. Yeah. And like this much, this much, this much. I was up, I bought a cabin, and I was up there yesterday. It's like this deep in snow. Oh, wow. And it's only one hour from here. Yeah. That's amazing. And that's your Tomorrowland. Yeah, it is. You know, when you say, to get away from dystopia, I think everyone would want to be along a river somewhere in a beautiful forested yeah. zone, and, you know, that's the tomorrow. I, have, I even made a joke when we were struggling with this a few years back. I said, let's just take the Tomorrowland plaque and move it from where it's located over to Frontierland. <laughs> <laughs> that would pull people. That would pull people the wrong way. Maybe, maybe. If you had enough money, you'd probably move to Montana, yeah. and get a beautiful log cabin with internet service, and you know, there it is. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Tony. Appreciate it.